We took Gino to the cardiologist today, and the news was not good. He wants down. Uh, my wife was crying the whole way home because his heart, he has uh, a stage four heart murmur. And last time we went nine months ago, they said that they see him living a semi-normal life as long as he doesn't overexert himself. But over the past couple months, he's had two episodes where, to me, they look like heart attacks. Where It's only when he is overexerting himself, like squirrels in our backyard, he'll run off full speed across the backyard, barking, chasing a squirrel. I'm talking straight up sprinting. And then he'll wobble and fall over and, like, go unconscious for, like, a split second. And then he'll be panting and catching his breath like his heart couldn't catch up. And so something about the heart murmur and the tricuspid valve and all that stuff... Uh, there's surgeries that they can do. There's one surgery only in Colorado. It's like thousands of dollars, and they still don't know because it's like a complex heart defect. <sighs> so my wife is crying. I'm holding, I'm bottling my emotions up, and I want to cry because I know he's with us right now. And so the story behind Gino, he's a two-year-old party Yorkie. We have three dogs, three cats, and six fish. I, I, there was no way we could take on any more animals, but they were going to euthanize this dog when he was just a puppy. He was overbred with the birth defect of a heart murmur, and my wife intervened. She's like, you're not going to euthanize this dog. We'll find a home for it. So she brought the dog home, and then that was the end. We never found a home. He became our dog, and I love this dog. He's made me so happy. Oh, come here. Come here, Gene. Come here. Anyways, if you know anything about heart murmurs, stage four heart murmurs, and anything about like surgery, uh, if there's a way to fix it, because they said he has three to five years to live, max, and he's two years old now. He's good in this moment, but when he overexerts himself, his heart really is struggling, and they say it's progressively getting worse based off the echocardiogram. And, um, come here. Our other dogs love him too. He's literally the, the life of our house. He's a good boy. <laughs> See, I love this dog. <laughs> My friends uh, come over because I, I do podcasts and stuff. I'm going to spend more time playing with the dog, man. Everybody loves this dog. Everybody will cry if this dog has a heart attack and dies. So pretty, pretty, please give me some advice in the comments below. Pray. He seems fine now, but when he when he has a heart issue and he's fainting, it's scary, man. I don't know what to do. So I'm willing to do whatever it takes. Let me know.